It's 5 a.m. on a crisp, cool morning. I'm making my way toward Taggart Lake. It's a tranquil location resting at the foot of the Grand Teton Mountains in Wyoming of the United States. I was hoping for some interesting cloud formations, but I'm not opposed to clear blue skies either, and the hike in gives me time to consider the images I want to make in this beautiful setting. The water is perfectly calm, like a sheet of glass, reflecting the majestic peaks, and I've timed my setup to begin shooting just as the sun brushes the tips of their rocky summits. The Tetons are the youngest in the Rocky Mountain range. The main cathedral group soars to an elevation of over 13,000 feet, rising dramatically from the valley floor. I spent a day scouting this area, taking test shots with my phone, and planning for about two hours of good light. I found several positions that I like, with rocks, logs, and other features I wanted in my foreground. I had decided on five compositions. I used an app on my phone to check the angle and timing of the sun and plot my way around the lake for the morning shoot. I was amazed at how reflective the surface of the water was. The morning mist evaporated and left a mirror-like surface that preserved every detail on the horizon. I came prepared for any lighting condition I could imagine, but in the end, I only used a hint of an ND filter as the reflections were nearly as bright as the subjects themselves. I bracketed my exposure for both luminance and focus with the idea of dialing in the final image later in Photoshop. Working my way around to my predetermined locations, I was thrilled to see how the sun lit up the rocks and other features hidden below the surface of the water. I cherish moments like this. The peace and connection I feel to this incredible world we live in is beyond my expression. As a photographer, I often find myself working in solitude with no one to share the experience with but the birds that sing in the trees nearby. But it doesn't always have to be that way. It's 6 a.m. on another crisp and cool morning. The sun is just peeking over the horizon at a place affectionately known as the Mars Overlook. I'm in southern Utah of the United States, and I'm sharing this stunning experience with my friend Dave Ward. So while he's doing some landscape photography, I'm making some portraits of a friend with his camera. As the sun gently warms the vista with its welcoming light, I watch as Dave carefully works his camera, making an adjustment here and there, perfecting his composition until he creates an image of great depth and rich detail. We work our way around the rim of the overlook, scouting for other possibilities we want to shoot the following morning. Dave is especially interested in foreground elements, and I'm looking for a precipice he can shoot from that will give me a portrait that speaks of the height and scale of this incredible scene. We consider many different positions and weigh their advantages. At a site like this, the sun seems to rise quickly and the long shadows retreat sooner than we'd like. Dave likes to shoot during the blue hour here, which is not something I've done a lot of, so we will need to be up early again. Planning a shoot with someone else forces me to justify my opinions in a way I don't have to when I'm on my own. 
It's an exercise in disciplining my objectives so that both of us can get the images we want. Dave has a great creative mind, and I value his thoughts on when and where he thinks we should be throughout the shoot, and together we make decisions that I think will get us some terrific results. We both have images from this morning that we're happy with, but I'm already getting pretty excited for the next day. Dave and I have been on more than a few photo excursions together. Spending time with other photographers is always a learning experience for me. You hang out with good people and goodness is bound to rub off on you. So what got you started in photography? I started as a, as a 14 year old kid rock climbing and mountain biking and just being outdoors. And you started shooting film, right? Yeah, I started, uh, uh, honestly, I had like this this uh, fun little rolly camera that uh, uh, you could stick in your pocket and a rolly thirty five. Yeah, it was a rolly thirty five. It was such cameras. a fun uh, fun little camera, yeah. and uh, you can stick it in your pocket. You, it was one of those that you had to to manually focus just by guessing your distances. So right. at first, I had a lot of shots that didn't go through very well, <laughs> but but uh, then I then I kind of progressed and and uh, and, and it all kind of. Kind of went from there. So, what kind of subjects do you like to shoot the most? Uh, you know, I like I like landscapes. I, I still like to document the adventures that I have with my family, my kids. I really enjoy going out and getting and capturing a good landscape picture. And there's something about that early morning, uh, that early morning light, that is just magic. A lot of times where I find myself alone on some mountain or edge of a lake and it's just me and the sun, but I also like shooting with friends, you know? Yeah. I love going out with you and watching you work, seeing how careful you are with your settings and your composition and you're very disciplined and that's a cool thing to see. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I don't know. What is that about shooting with a buddy? You yeah. know? I think it's a lot of fun to, uh, to go out and see how other people work. Yeah. You know, uh, how, how we each see the world differently. We can be side by side. We're at the same area right here. And your picture, even though it, we're, we're, like, we're like feet apart, your picture will look different than my picture just yeah. by the way that yeah, and it's all just so much. <laughs> no, <laughs> no there, it's, just, it's just so much fun to see, uh, you know, how, how everyone sees the world differently. I follow my friend in the early hours as he races against the rising sun. I'm shooting film, so my results aren't as immediate, but the lighting couldn't be more perfect, and I make some more portraits as Dave captures the glowing landscape. The rocky overlooks we've chosen are as dramatic as I hoped they would be. I shoot both wide and long lenses, and I strive to emphasize the sheer magnitude of it all. I want my images to be as impressive as the feelings I have looking over such a breathtaking landscape. That evening, we brought our friends and family back to the location to take in the views we beheld that morning. The golden evening light was just as gorgeous as before and we enjoyed looking at Dave's images and sharing our early morning adventures with them. Photography with a friend can be a fun and wonderful learning experience. And if you're lucky, you can even hand your camera over and get a nice self-portrait for your studio wall. <laughs>